Good evening. Before I get underway with the Price is Right pricing game recap for tonight, please join me in a moment of silence to remember writer-slash-actor-slash-director Harold Ramis, who died early Monday morning, yesterday, the 24th of February, in his home in Chicago, Illinois, at the age of 69, because of complications arising from autoimmune inflammatory vasculitis. He appeared in many films such as Stripes, National Lampoon's Vacation, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, Baby Boom, Groundhog Day, to name just a few. He also directed Caddyshack, among others, and before that he appeared on the Canadian TV show Second City TV, or SCTV for short, in the early 80s. I thank Gipper Man for sending me that message. And uh, also to former guard for the New York Giants and Washington Redskins, Roy Simmons. He died back on February 20th at the age of 57. And I thank Sports Guy 528 for bringing that to my attention. Thank you very much, and rest in peace, Harold Ramis and Roy Simmons. Pricing Game Recap for Tuesday, February 25th, 2014. Here were today's pricing games. Spelling Bee, Side by Side, Race Game, Push Over, 10 Chances, and One Wrong Price. The first contestant was Carmen. No, not Carmen San Diego. Who knows where in the world she is. <laughs> This Carmen is a nurse. She bid $852 on a MrWatch.com men's designer watch collection and a pair of sunglasses brought down on the jewelry elevator from the ceiling. Actual retail price, $1,340. She played Spelling Bee for a chance to win a 2014 Toyota Tacoma regular cab 4x2 truck, modeled by the marvelous Manuel Arbelias, a prize worth $19,775. The ravishing Rachel Reynolds was in charge of placing the picked cards on the spelling bee row. For Carmen's two free picks, she chose numbers 7 and 12. And here were the three small prizes. We had a Revlon hair dryer that has two different heat settings and a diffuser, a Cuisinart Smart Stick hand blender, and a heart shaped waffle maker with easy cleanup non stick plates. Now, Carmen had to be within $10 of these three prizes, of course, to get more cards. First, for the hair dryer, she believed that it was $25. The actual retail price of the hair dryer was $16. She was off by $9. She chose card number 17. Next for the hand blender, she believed that it was $40. The actual retail price of the hand blender was... 
$65 off by $25. No card there. And finally, for the heart-shaped waffle maker, she believed that it was $50. The actual retail price of the heart-shaped waffle maker was $44. She was off by $6. She chose card number one. So, she had four cards, each of them worth $1,000. That's $4,000 for Carmen to take and forget about the car. But Carmen decided to go for that car, or in this case, truck. Yeah, it's kind of odd that uh, Spelling Bee isn't, doesn't use the letters T-R-U-C-K for truck. Well, really wouldn't make sense. But, well, then again, there are 30 cards, so something could have been worked out there. But nonetheless, Carmen decided to go for it. I don't blame her. Drew revealed what was behind card number seven. And that turned out to be an A. Carmen could now take $3,000 and forget about the truck, but Carmen decided to go on. And now behind card number 12, Drew revealed that to have an R. Carmen could take $2,000, or she could keep on going. Carmen told Drew that she wanted to see that C, so that meant she definitely wanted to keep on going. And when Drew revealed what was behind car number 17, it turned out that it was... Oh, no. By spelling out the word car. <laughs> and car is part of her name, Carmen, like you mentioned. Uh, behind car number one, by the way, was a C. So, good thing she got that C on her third card. So, Carmen wins the truck, and she also wins the hair dryer and the heart shaped waffle maker. Those total $60. She won $19,835 in truck and small prizes. That's a great way to start off the show. The second contestant was Benjamin. No, it was not BJ Mason Television, I will tell you that. He is, well, at the taping of today's airing of The Price is Right, he would be um, graduating from nursing school. He was going to be a, a nurse, upcoming grad. He bid $1,201 on a designer travel accessory collection modeled by Manuela. Actual retail price, $1,430. He played side-by-side -side for a chance to win a trip for two to New York City, New York. It is round-trip coach from Los Angeles. It includes a six-night stay at the Tuscany, that's a hotel, with daily breakfast included, plus a 75-minute sightseeing tour on a state-of-the-art bus, modeled by Rachel at door number four. Now, Benjamin chose to place the 67 portion of the price to the board's right side to make the price 4867 instead of placing it on the board's left side to make the price 6748 well, let's see. Did he win? I will tell you right now that when the actual retail price of the trip to New York City lit up, it turned out to be... $6,748. Sorry. The third contestant was Christina, who is an actor and a singer from, oddly enough, New York City. The location that 
was just up for grabs in Side by Side that Benjamin failed to win. She bid $700 on a HattersHammocks.com deluxe hand-woven hammock that was modeled by the goofy George Grass. He was lying in that hammock. Drew mentioned that he's got the easiest job in the world. If you say so, Drew. Actual retail price, $737. Off by $37. Christina played race game for a chance to win these four prizes. A Plessers.com Frigidaire Affinity Washer and Dryer. It includes a front load steam washer with a 4.2 cubic foot capacity and an electric dryer with 10 cycles. A leather coach designer shoe collection that includes a pair of platform high heels, a python embossed style with pointed toe, and a pair of strappy heel sandals. The washer and dryer and the coach shoes were modeled by Manuela. A Golden West Billiards antique style pool table that is classically designed with a turn of the century feel and features standard legs and a maple finish. And a Yamaha Zuma 125 motor scooter that has a 125cc engine and automatic transmission. The pool table and the motor scooter were modeled by Rachel. Okay, now, when the 45 seconds began, Christina placed $3,390 on the washer and dryer, $805 on the coach shoes, $1,898 on the pool table, and $2,600 on the motor scooter. And when she pulled the lever to see how many she got right, with 37 seconds left, she got one right. Now on her second attempt, she left the washer and dryer at $3,390, and she left the motor scooter at $2,600. So she put the coach shoes now at $18.98 and the pool table at $805. When she came back to pull the lever to see how many rights she got this time, with 18 seconds remaining, she had none right! So, she then placed $1,898 on the washer and dryer, $805 on the coach shoes, $2,600 on the pool table, and 3390 on the motor scooter. And when she came back to pull the lever to see how many she had right this time, I will tell you that with only four seconds remaining, you won't believe this. She got all four right! Christina is a big winner in race game. She won a grand total of $8,693 in prizes. And Manuela confirmed the washer and dryer to be $1,898 and the shoes at $805. And Rachel confirmed that the pool table was $2,600 and the motor scooter being $3,390. She went from none right to all four right. Nicely done, Christina. The fourth contestant was Jason from Kansas City. He was uh, wearing a hat that said KC, the initials. Was he from Kansas City, Missouri or Kansas City, Kansas? That part was never mentioned. He did bid $1,550 on an Alberian and Ald Sterling Silver Moonstone pendant that was modeled by Rachel in the middle of contestants row. Actual retail price? $2,050, off by $500. He played pushover for a chance to win a Sea-Doo GTS 130 personal watercraft that seats up to three people and has a 1,494cc engine with trailer included, ridden by Manuela. Now, Jason's starting push price was $6,105. He pushed a second time, making the price $4,610. Jason decided to push a third time, making the price $8,461.
This is where the audience was cheering on that price. Although Jason was a little hesitant on stopping, he actually decided to push a fourth time, making the price 2846 and then he pushed a fifth time, making the price 9284 And that's when he stopped pushing. So he pushed a total of five times with four blocks going over. Now, Drew asked Jason what made him decide to push um, over 8,461. Uh, Jason mentioned that um, a member of the audience wearing pink um, told him to push the 9,284. I have to say, I think he made a good choice doing that. So now, when Drew revealed the actual retail price of the watercraft, it turned out that it was... $9,284! Jason is a winner! And it's a good thing he decided to keep on pushing. He did not listen to most of the audience. The fifth contestant was Michael, and in the words of Shaggy, it wasn't me. He is from Phoenix, Arizona. He drove um, up to Cali to be on The Price is Right. He bid one dollar on a seven-piece Rockwell Power Tool package modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $1,250. He played 10 chances for a chance to win these three prizes. A Zoku countertop frozen pop maker, a Nintendo Wii U game package with gamepad controller and six games, the frozen pop maker and the game package from Nintendo Wii U were modeled by Manuela, and a Mazda 3 ISV modeled by Rachel. First for the frozen pop maker, using... Two out of the three following numbers, three, five, and zero. Michael first wrote down thirty-five dollars. Was that the price? Uh-uh. Next he wrote down thirty dollars for his second chance. Was thirty dollars the price? No, it wasn't. Next he wrote down fifty dollars. Was that the price of the frozen pop maker? Yeah, it was. So he got that in three chances. Now on to the Nintendo Wii U game package. He had to use three of the following four numbers. Seven, zero, four, and six. For his first chance on the game package, he wrote down $460. Was that the price? No, it wasn't. Then he wrote down $467. Was that the price? No! 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 As Daniel Bryan would say. Uh, then Michael wrote down $640. Was that the price of the Nintendo Wii U game package? Well, yes it was! He got that in three chances, so he had four chances remaining to go for that car. So he had to use all five of the following numbers, 9, 1, 8, 0, and 7. For his first chance of the Mazda 3 ISV, he wrote down $18,970. He had the one down twice, but he had to change the second one to a zero, because as we know, every number is used once. Was the price of the car $18,970? No, it was not. Now, on to his next chance. He wrote down $19,780. Was that the price of the Mazda 3 ISV? No, it was not. Now, he was on 
his second to last chance for the car. He wrote down $19,078. You know what? I'm not going to waste my breath asking. I'll have my recorder speak for itself here. That was obviously wrong. Now, this was his last chance. So, he was either going to win the car if he wrote down the price right, or he's just going to end up with the pop maker and the game package from Nintendo Wii U. He wrote down for his 10th and final chance $17,890. For the Mazda 3 ISV, was $17,890. The price of the car! No, it wasn't! Oh! The actual retail price was $18,790. Oh, so close. However, he did win the Frozen Pop Maker and the Nintendo Wii U game package for a total of $690, and this is a consolation win. Almost had that car. Okay, the sixth and final contestant was Rebecca. She bid $778 on an 11-piece non-stick cookware set, plus a 6-piece professional quality cutlery set that was modeled by Manuela on the turntable. The actual retail price was $968. Rebecca played one wrong price for a chance to win these three prizes. An elliptical machine that has 22 resistance levels and a powerful adjustable stride and comes on wheels. That was modeled by Manuela, priced at $999. An Apple iMac desktop computer that has a quad-core processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 1 terabyte hard drive with an Epson printer included, modeled by Rachel, priced at $1,599. And a 30-inch RCS natural gas barbecue grill with cart that has electronic ignition and an infrared rotisserie back burner. Excuse me. That was also modeled by Rachel, priced at $3,899. As we know, one of these three prices was wrong. If Rebecca could find the one wrong price, she wins all three prizes. Without hesitation, Rebecca chose the grill. So if the grill was anything other than $3,899, Rebecca wins all three prizes. Simple as that. And when Rachel revealed the price of the 30-inch RCS natural gas barbecue grill with cart, it turned out that it was... prizes for a total of $5,776. Then we all confirmed the elliptical machine being $999. Rachel confirmed the desktop computer be $1,599. Just to make it official. Now it's time for the acknowledgement section. Here's what BJ Mason Television from BJ MTV Canada has to say. As far as I can remember, a truck was won in Spelling Bee for the first time ever. But I could be wrong. I don't, I don't know if Spelling Bee has ever been played for a truck before today. Beats the heck out of me. Uh, hold the phone! Side by Side was played at the doors, even though the Tuscany trip was shown at door number four. It was actually the New York trip. Sorry, BJ Mason Television. Tuscany was the hotel in New York City. We all know when double prices is played for a trip, it gets played in front of the row. 
But I can't understand why Side by Side can't do it, too, like I said many times. I really would like to see Side by Side played in front of contestants' row. Hopefully for next season, or maybe before this season ends. I really would like to see that happen. I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. And it's a boot time. The race game jukebox was shown before showing the prizes. Could this mean Take Two will do the same thing soon? Provided the current logo of the Price is Right would be placed on that game? On the game? Could happen. Uh, so we had a pretty good day on the Price is Right today. We had four pricing games won. They were Spelling Bee, Race Game, Pushover, and One Wrong Price. We also gave away a hair dryer and a waffle maker in Spelling Bee. We gave away a frozen pop maker and a Nintendo Wii U game package in 10 chances. So, the contestant recognition contestant is Michael for a small 10 chances win. Carmen, Christina, Jason, and Rebecca are the MVPs of the prices right for their pricing and wins. Now, in today's showcase, the top winner was Carmen. The runner-up was Jason. Showcase number one. That included a trip for two to San Francisco, Gipper Man's home city, and a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta S. Both the trip to San Fran and the Jetta were modeled by Manuela. Uh, Carmen chose to bid on that showcase by giving a bid of $25,000. Now for showcase number two. That included a pair of 7 foot 6 inch surfboards that have stability and ease of a longboard with built in design elements of a quick turning shortboard. And a pair of GoPro Hero waterproof high def cameras that shoot 1080p video while surfing. Pretty cool. Uh, a 60-inch 3D plasma HDTV that has real black pro panel, wide color enhancer plus, and voice recognition with four pairs of glasses included. And uh, on the TV it showed uh, Rachel surfing on the surfboard. Because, um, of course, the high def camera caught her doing that. That was pretty cool. And a trip for two to Sydney, Australia. That is round trip coach from Los Angeles. It includes a six-night stay in a studio spa suite at the Radisson Blue Plaza Hotel Sydney with daily breakfast included, plus a two-hour surf lesson. And all of those prizes in that showcase were modeled by Rachel, the surfer girl. Jason, for his bid, said, $18,450, mate. He's definitely pumped on going to Australia. Well, let's see if he will fulfill that. Drew went to Jason first for the showcase reveal. His bid, $18,450. Actual retail price, $19,461. A difference of $1,011. Pretty great bid there. Now over to Carmen. Her bid was $25,000. Actual retail price. Oh, you're not going to believe this. $24,670. Carmen was over by $330. Too bad. But she did win a truck in Spelling Bee, so, you know, not all that bad. Jason won himself a grand total of $30,795 in prizes. Congratulations, Jason. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week is provided by Pure Silk Rich, Rich and Luxurious Shave Cream. Available in Plumeria Breeze. Better shave, a better you. Legs like pure silk. And uh, in honor of Harold Ramis, I have a special sponsor for tonight. Tonight's Price is Right Pricing and Recap is also brought to you by the movie 
Stripes, which was actually Harold Ramis' uh, movie debut. There he is right here. Rest in peace. So, uh, I'll be back uh, tomorrow for another installment of the Price is Right Pricing and Recap, unless if uh, Step Up or Triple Play gets played for Martin S5 1989. And one of the games today I recapped with Spelling Bee, and that's one of the games Neil Rox 87 has yet to recap. But, um, he, um, he currently has a recap he has to get to first. So, um, I'm assuming once he gets that done, he'll wait until, uh, his other games show up, and he'll have between now and June to do it. So, there you go. All right. This is Mr. Morgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.